The earwig's scientific order name means skin wing. It gets this name from the leathery, skin-like forewings that cover the hindwings. The name, Dermaptera, is only one letter short of being the same as a group of gliding mammals called colugos. The name earwig doesn't have anything to do with wigs, but it does have to do with ears, though not how you would expect. The word earwig is derived from Old English words meaning ear beetle, and is likely in reference to the insect's ear-shaped wings. Earwigs, however, are not beetles. Not all earwigs have wings. Some, such as the ring-legged earwig, are wingless. Those that do have wings, however, sport these leathery forewings, which give them their name. These forewings are known as tegmina. Some scientists believe earwigs first emerged in the Middle Jurassic, but others suggest they originated in the early Cretaceous. That's a difference of about 20 million years, and highlights the gaps in our prehistorical knowledge. Earwigs are insects that display hemimetabolism, which is just a really fancy way of saying they undergo incomplete metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis describes a life cycle that develops from egg to nymph to adult, and other examples include grasshoppers and cicadas. There is an earwig species commonly known as the lesser earwig, or small earwig. This species' scientific name means small lip, but Searching for it online may yield results that are not safe for work, so some resources suggest adding the term earwig to your search. Speaking of not safe for work searches, did you know male earwigs are doubly endowed? They typically have two penises, one facing forward and one facing backward. Supposedly, one removes a rival's sperm and the other adds their own. Each penis is about the same length as the earwig's entire body. Some earwigs are also just giants in general. An earwig species was described as extinct in 2014, although it has not been observed alive by science since 1967. This large insect grew to more than three inches long. Earwigs are stinky, at least sometimes. In observations, earwigs under attack by potential predators release a foul-smelling sulfuric substance that resembles the scent of rotting flesh. In the study, the lizards that tried to take a bite immediately spit the earwigs out. Not all predators are bothered by an earwig's stink, however. Spiders, centipedes, and even birds all dine on these delectable invertebrates although they would probably taste pretty terrible to a human. You've also probably heard that earwigs are sexually dimorphic, and some give birth to live young. But if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full earwig episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.